Are you looking to put an automated chatbot with VoiceFlow on your website, but you don't know how to get VoiceFlow to send that information you collect over to a CRM, a lead sheet, or even send just a basic email, then this video is for you. I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how you can automate your VoiceFlow chatbot to get any information you collect from your client and then have it sent over to your sales teams or wherever you want it automatically so you can save time and make more money. For this example, we're gonna be connecting VoiceFlow up with Zapier and we're also also going to be allowing it so we can send emails and update leads into an Excel spreadsheet. So if this sounds interesting to you, then make sure to stick around. But before we hop right into it, if you want to work with me on business, AI, or automation, feel free to book a 15 minute call down with me in the description below and we can talk about whatever you need help with. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So I'm on VoiceFlow right now and I'm currently in my chat bot that I made for real estate. I'll have a link somewhere for the video, wherever it is up here, but I'll also have this exact template so you can follow along at home on how you can automate your voice flow chatbot. And this one is a very, very simple chatbot. It's basically for modern home realty. Would you want to buy or sell? Um, and then if they buy, it asks them some questions about where they're thinking, um, what's their budget, what kind of amenities. And then also if they want to sell, it's how much they think they can sell it for. And then also ask for stuff like a name, a phone number, and an email. And then just a final message here. But what I added at the end of this chatbot is actually a final request here for an API request. And what this will do is actually allow us to send our information that we collect from our VoiceFlow chatbot to another platform so we can use it in like a CRM, a lead sheet or something like that. And this is what this video is going to cover. So if you ever want to get any of your information out of VoiceFlow, this is going to be it. Before we get into our API call, we're going to be using a, another program to set up all these integrations and that's going to be Zapier. There's a lot of great tools like Zapier, but I found this to be the best one. And what it is, is allows you to connect API channels together. So any program you're using can interact with one another. So you don't have to think about moving information around. It just does it automatically. But then once you're logged in, you can see I already have a couple zaps right here. We're going to want to head on over to create a zap. And this is where we'll begin to make our automations. And I do want to have a quick disclaimer on here. If you do want to get your information using something like Zapier, you are going to have to have one of the paid plans just because it does use the API function, which is something that isn't included in the free plan. But it's honestly worth it if you're doing real business and you're collecting a lot of leads. I definitely recommend upgrading to the premium version. But if you don't have it, you can still test with it and it'll work fine. Just make sure when you put it into production, you actually have it working. So we'll start off here with a trigger and we'll start by searching for an API. Actually, we only have to type in API. We'll just have this webhook trigger here. You can see it's a premium trigger. It will allow us to capture the information that gets sent from our voice flow box down here. To set this up, we'll go to a event and we'll use a catch hook. And this catch hook is, we'll do exactly what it says, wait for a new post put get from a Zapier URL. Um, and if we click on continue, it'll ask us for a child key. For this, what we'll do is just click on continue. We're not gonna really be looking for that. Um, but now we have a webhook URL. So now with this URL, if we send any information over to this URL, Zapier will then know that, ah, there is a payload of information. I can accept this information and then we can use that information in different steps of our workflow. So we'll click on copy here and copy this URL. We'll head back over to our voice flow bot. We'll click on our new API box and we'll have it set to post and we'll put in the URL here. And the reason why we want to be set to post is because post means kind of like postman. It's sending out mail. And then if we want to use get, which we used here, the get hook right here, that is getting that information. Information. This is sending this information. So once we have our link in here, we can set our parameters. We'll just start with the name parameter for now with this one. So we'll enter in, we'll hit colon, and then we'll look for our name variable. And with this example, these variables have already been defined in our chatbot here. Like you can see, we have a capture information for the name, and then we can use that name later in like different steps in our workflow. So we're basically just using this same name variable here, but then we're using it here instead. When it gets to the final message and sends the API request, it'll then send the parameter, which is a name parameter, and that's the name variable. So we'll send this request and it asks us to enter in a new name. So I'll just say my name, Mike, and click on generate. And there we go. If it worked, we should get a 200 okay response here. And this is the response back from Zapier to VoiceFlow to kind of communicate with the two apps that did go through. It is working. So 
if we head back over to Zapier and then we click on test trigger, you can see over here, it says request a query string name Mike. So now we have just successfully sent our voice flow data over to Zapier. And now we can use this information here later in our workflow here. Zapier has so many things you can connect to. It's honestly, I could talk for hours about what you can do with it. Um, but for this case, what we'll do is we'll just send it to an email and we'll also send it to an Excel spreadsheet. Also, if you're getting any value out of this video so far, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, do all those things. It really, really does help me out. And what we can do is now that we have our name variable here we'll add in another action and we'll start off with an Excel Microsoft Excel spreadsheet here and we'll start by having it send the information to a new row in Excel and then we'll also have it send us an email to let us know that we got a new lead from our chat box so we'll click on Excel and then we'll choose an event we'll click on add row and then continue it'll have a sign into our account we'll head over to Excel and we'll just create a blank workbook for this instance and then we'll name it instead of workbook three we'll just say I'll name it chatbot leads this will allow us to put our information up into here. And then once we have our Excel connected, we're going to want to head over to wherever your Excel document is located on your account. Mine is in the root. And then it's also, and then as we just named it, it's chatbot leads here. Um, and then it's worksheet sheet one, we can insert data. So we're going to want to insert first the name and continue. And so now we're just entering in the name into column a here. So if we test this step, a row has been added about zero seconds ago. And if we head back over here, let's maybe refresh the page. You can see it added name Mike into here, which is huge. Let's also go ahead and in our chat bot settings over here for voice flow, we'll also add in two more parameters, one for email and then one for phone. So we have our email variable and also our phone variable. So now that we have these three in our new Zapier request, if we send it over, it gives us three variables to send. We'll just say Mike at gmail.com. And then our fake phone number here, if we click on generate, we'll get a 200 request for all three of those variables. And then if we head back over to Zapier, we'll click back over to catch webhooks test it and we will click on find new records. We have a new request B record here, which has the information we just sent over from our voice flow bot. Um, and we'll continue with this record for now. Okay, bit of a point here. I forgot to mention that is very key to this, but what you want to do is have the different names of your headers in your Excel already set up here. So I have name, phone and email set up here like the three. And then when you go through this, so so if you were following along, you're going to want to have to, you're going to want to go up here and just go through these again and set up the action step again with the chat bot leads and the sheet and you'll get three new inputs here for your different headers. So you'll see I have a name, phone and email header corresponding to these ones here. So then we click on the name, click on the name here, and that will input the name into the name column. And then we'll also do the same thing for the phone and then also for the email. Make sure you have it set up like this so it can capture the information in this way accordingly. So once it's looking like this, we'll click on continue. And then if we retest this step, we have a new row was sent to Microsoft Excel. Column A was my, column B was the phone number and column C was the email. So if we head over here and we, we, we refresh, we have our new information for our lead sheet. There we go, look at that. If you were to turn this on and publish it, it would just be running constantly. So if you were to have this real estate chatbot, for instance, on your website, and then someone were to fill it out, then every time, it gets to the final message here and this API call gets triggered after all the information has been captured. It'll then send that information over here and it will just automatically capture it and automatically do it. But like I keep saying, you are gonna need to be on a premium plan for this to work, but it's worth it if you want the convenience of the automation. Um, but then from here, you can really take this as many ways as you want. So we'll add one more step into here and that will be email by Zapier. We're gonna have it collect the information from our voice flow and then put it in an Excel sheet and then send us an email to let us 
us know we got a new lead from our chatbot. We'll choose an event, send outbound email from our email component, click on continue, and now we can just fill in the fields like everything else. For testing purposes, we'll have it sent over to a 10 minute mail, which is a temporary free email. So we'll just put our email inside here, our subject can be like new lead exclamation point. Our body can then just be all the information we captured. It can be formatted however you like. If you want to add like maybe a name, like name, colon, phone, colon. So now we have it looking a little bit nicer there. If we have any files we want to send over, we can add it in there. In this case, we don't, but like I said, you always could. If we want to add a from name, reply to, CC, BC, force line breaks, enable read receipts, all the things you'd find in standard email stuff. But then we click on continue uh, and then let's test this step. I don't know why, but it was being a little weird. I'm going to use this new test email, but we'll copy this over. We'll use this email address here. And then if we go to continue and we retest this step and we'll head here and we can see we have a new lead from zapier and that's with the information um, like our name email and phone number and you can obviously replace this out for your email so you can get the leads but yeah that's that's basically the steps I mean, you can take this once again as far as you want they have all kinds of stuff in here you know if you want to connect to hubspot if you want to connect to salesforce or even something like notion or motion or whatever you use or Cotion or lotion whatever they are if you guys got any value out of this video make sure to drop a fat like subscribe comment do all the things down below if you have any questions also leave them in the comments down below too once again if you want to work with me, feel free to book a call with me down in the description below. We can talk about all things business, AI, and automation. If you want to see how I built the real estate chatbot that we use as an example in this video, make sure to check out this video here where I show you exactly step-by-step -step of how I put that together and how you can do the same for your business as well. So I'll see you guys over in that video.